Hello friends, welcome to this session of learning R programming and plotting plots using ggplot2. In this session, we are going to learn how to customize a plot to meet requirements of a specific publication. And as an example, we are going to use a APA style theme for our plot. And I will show you how to customize those theme elements as per given requirements of the APA style. APA style plots are the specifications required for plots to be published in journals from association of that American Psychological Association. And they have given very clear cut guidelines that APA style figures have the basic components. One is figure number. The number appears above the figure title and image in bold font. I have given this specification in the description. Please read those to understand what we are going to do. As a base plot, we are going to use uh, the data set to the growth and we are going to we are going to use bar plot plotted using the tooth growth data set. I will run this and the structure of tooth growth, it contains three variables. Uh, one numeric variable is there. This dose was also numeric variable, but I converted that dose to factor variable using this uh, factor function. And then I plotted this plot the ggplot, tooth growth was the data set, aesthetics, dose was the x-axis, length was the y-axis and uh, fill. Uh, I mapped fill attribute to the variable supplement. Now that supplement is a factor with two levels. Therefore, we will get a dodged bar plot and uh, in that each uh, group will get two bars. In geom bar stat is equal to summary to get that uh, mean plotted and uh, that function i want to plot mean therefore that function is mean position is equal to dodge to get the group bar plot so that we will not get a stack then width of those bars will be 0 0.6 then stat summary i used uh, to plot the bar error bar that is geom error bar function data used uh, mean underscore ac that means uh, standard error will be that error bar will be based on the standard error and position will be position dodge width is equal to 0 0.6 and uh, remember this width shall be the equal to the uh, width which you used for the uh, bars then width of the error bars will be 0 0.2 mm -hmm. yeah. then uh, scale y continuous are used to start the y axis at 0 to force to start it with 0 otherwise you will get some space between the base of the bar and the y axis and, and the x axis and labs were there as per our requirement to suit to the APA style. The title is figure one, subtitle uh, will explain uh, the title of the chart, uh, subtitle will be the uh, title of the chart we want, then notes, uh, this time notes will be the caption, I will put the word note there and delete that uh, note. I will run this to see what bars you will get yeah. uh, the this is not much customized i have not added anything there okay. we'll start to add the theme elements okay. and here i will bring that to one line so that it is manageable okay here i will put the plus and then I will start with the base theme. That will be my classic theme, theme classic. And this theme is as per the APA requirement. And we have to customize this theme. Uh, now you can see that the plot is quite uh, good to look at. But we have to specify. The first thing which we will specify is theme. I have to put that before after that theme classic please remember put your customization after the theme classic so that theme classic will not override the specification you put there theme the legend dot position will position the legend at a position which will be there within the plot area as for the API requirement and that position will be proportion of the axis. I want to 
space place here so that overlap will not be that that x i will put at 0 0.2 and y will be around this one that 0 0.85 and we'll run that then we'll play with the subtitle the code is legend dot subtitle subtitle is equal to we'll borrow from this and put there i'll bring this to also new line so that everything will be visible family serif this time we'll play with the face face is equal to italic and for this also we have to specify the face for the title also face this time the face for title will be bold bold run that and legend dot subtitle theme element not legend dot subtitle we forgot plot dot subtitle and here also we have to specify plot dot title that is the title I, I did that wrong now the figure title got customized this got customized but we want a line also between this therefore we'll put that new line in the title only in the labs only new line and after subtitle also we'll put a new line so that there will be space between the plot and the titles we'll run that a good one now we'll play this axis titles shall also be it's not allowed to be to start with lowercase letters therefore x title will specify that will be dose and y title will specify that will be length or length of odonto blasts and here the length in which you need the measured is not given therefore we will not specify that will run that okay. that length of odontoblast is there dose is there this titles and this okay there this shall be sentence case that will put that odontoblast and run that okay. now again we'll start playing with the theme elements the text size and those appear to be good axis text but we will we'll show you how to specify that axis title is equal to we'll borrow from this only because we want to play with the text only but axis titles will keep little smaller than the plot title and subtitle okay. axis title that italic is not required we'll make that as bold bold run that b capital shall not be that small run that uh, I think we are quite good till this point but the colors now just the final thing that uh, colors also and caption also I will play with the caption plot dot caption is equal to element text only I will copy here not play much with the uh, font size of this element text in bracket align and for align that h just h just is equal to zero that alignment will be left align okay left alignment is there and tooth growth i have to play with this also because this break was not quite good for tooth growth sales responsible for tooth growth i will bring that to new line in 60 guinea pigs bring that 
and that okay. and I think this will be sufficient to run that each the tab also will remove and this is now a good thing uh, that a quite customized plot as per API requirement is there okay that legend title I said I'll remove the legend title fill is equal to empty space run that okay a good quite good plot according to api style that colors if you want to play with if you want to specify the color i will put that here after this scale fill manual manual and the plus shall be there values i have to specify values for the colors values is equal to yellow the first will be yellow and next will be sky blue and this is my choice of color you can have your own choice because api doesn't specify the color to be used now these bars do not have these borders therefore i will specify the color in the bar only geom bar color is equal to gray 60 and run that a nice api style plot ready for publication with all the specifications followed play with your plots learn to customize those plots as per your requirements thanks for watching this video if you like this video please click the like button subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed yet and share this video with your friends thank you thanks for watching